Hi, I'm Vincent, Research Advocate at Raza. A lot of folks ask us how to get started with Raza and how to get everything installed on your laptop. And some of the people who asked us were not familiar with programming, so the goal of this video is to show you everything you need to get Raza started on a Mac. We'll install Python and a bunch of other things, but the end goal will be that we have Raza running locally. The first thing that you'll need if you want to get started with Raza is the programming language called Python. To download Python, what you have to do is go to python.org, and then you have to go to this download section. There are lots of versions of Python that you can go ahead and download. What I will do now is not download the latest and greatest, but I will go for Python version 3.7. So let's click download here. And in my case, I will click the macOS installer. And the download should begin. Now that this is downloaded, I can open it. What I will do now is just follow these instructions such that Python is installed. And it's now done installing. During the installation process, a finder window opened up. But this should be everything that we need now. So I can remove the installer to the bin. Next, what I need to do is I need to open up a small terminal. To start a terminal, you can go to your app dashboard and you can type term in there. I will now open this terminal here. Now I'll make this terminal just a bit bigger so it's easier to read. If you're unfamiliar with a terminal, a terminal is just a place where I can type commands to the computer for it to run instead of having to click on buttons. Because Python 3.7 is now installed, I can use it to install some packages. The first package we'll install is called virtualenv. Technically, this is not a requirement, but it's a really good practice to have. When we installed Python, we also installed a tool called pip. And we can tell Python to take the pip module and run a command from it. So one thing that I can do is I can tell Python to install, and then I can say, hey, could you please install this tool called virtualenv? When I now press return, virtualenv will be installed. In this particular case, I had virtual env already installed, so your output might look a little bit different, but this is the command you'd need to run. What I will do now is I'll create a folder where I can have a go at playing with Raza. So I'll make a directory. I will call it Raza init demo. The mkdir command is a command that uh, creates a new folder. And what I will then do is I will go into that folder which is the cd command. cd stands for change directory. Next, I will run virtual env. So I can say Python, take the virtual env module, and I want you to create a new virtual environment called venv here. And what I would like to do next is I would like you to activate that virtual environment. So I'm going to press the up arrow a bunch of times so we get our pip install command that we had before again. But the main difference now is I'm not going to install virtual env, but because I am now inside of a virtual env, I can safely install Raza. So when I press enter, it's going to install Raza and all of the dependencies that are associated. It might take a while depending on your internet connection because it has to download a whole bunch of things. A whole bunch of things have just been installed. But if everything went well, I should now have access to a command line app called Raza. And there it is. Raza has been installed and I can run a bunch of commands. Since we're interested in getting started, the first thing we probably want to do is just type Raza init. This will run the init command which creates a new project with example training data, actions, and config files. So let's run that. I am given a prompt with questions that I can answer. First, I have to tell it where the new project will be created, but I think the current directory is fine. Yes, that's fine. And I would also like to train an initial model, yes. A new project is set up and a machine learning model is training such that I can chat to a chatbot. This will take a small while. And now it's asking me if I'm interested in speaking to the trained assistant on the command line. I'll say yes. I can say hello. 
the assistant replies by saying, hey, how are you? I can say, I am feeling okay. It says, great, carry on. Okay. The chatbot works, so I hit control C a bunch of times to exit the application. So what did the Raza init command do? Well, it created a file structure. On a Mac, if you were to type open and then a dot, the current files and folders will be opened up in a finer window. And in particular, this is what's in that. We have the virtual end folder that we created ourselves, and we see that there's a model in the models folder, and that there's a whole bunch of other files. Congratulations, you have everything you need to get started with Raza locally. From here on, you can follow some of the other tutorials.